Now to carry on, in a situation like this, you might have a nice equation that has pronumerals on both sides of the equal sign. And so for in this case, when you have variables on both sides, what you want to do is move all the variables to one side and all the pro all sorry of the numbers to the other. So in this case, let me just run you through what I mean. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to move all of the y's to this side. So if I've got negative 6 y's here, what I can do is I can just choose a side and I can cancel out those. Okay, Positive 6y to this side and I'll add 6y to this side. And so minus 6y plus 6y cancels out. But minus 2y plus 6y equals 4y. And so what we have is 10 minus 4y. 9 equals 10. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, what we've got is 9 equals 10 minus 4y, as we established. Now, so what we've done is we've effectively taken the y's from this side and moved them over this side by subtracting one side. Now I do the same with the numbers. If I have, oops, sorry, that's a positive 4y, I beg your pardon, 9 equals 10 plus 4y. And same case here, if I take away 10 from here, so 10 minus 10 cancels out, I take away 10 from this side, 9 minus 10 equals 1, and then we're still left with 4y. And what we've done, all I've done is I've moved the numbers to this side, I've moved all the letters to that side, and we've got an equation now that we can deal with. 1 minus 4y, let's divide both sides by 4, and we have y equals 1 quarter. It looks a bit ugly though, doesn't it? But anyway, let's have a go at this again. Here's another one. Well, we have 7x plus 7 equals 2x plus 2. So what we want to do is we want to get all of the x's to one side, all of the y's to the other. Now, the most common question I get is, does it matter which way, which side you put the letters on which side? No, it doesn't. One might be easier than the other, but it really doesn't matter. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the x's to this side, and I'm going to move the numbers to this side. take 2x from this side, and I'll take 2x from this side. And what I'm going to also do now is going to show you that you can actually do all of this step both in just one hit. So if I take the letters away, I can also, if I'm moving the numbers over there, take 7, take 7, they cancel out, they cancel out, and we end up with 7x minus 2x is 5x, and 2 minus 7 is minus 5. So I've done it all in one hit. 5x equals minus 5, divide both sides by 5, and we end up with x equals minus 5 divided by 5, which is minus 1. So remember, letters on one side, numbers on the other. Mm -hmm.